Hello and welcome to this review of the DLM 460 Makita Cordless Lawnmower. Um, this model uh, comes in three varieties, I think. The bear tool without the battery or charger, uh, which is labelled Z, DLM 460Z. And then it comes in two kit forms with a charger and two batteries, either 5 amp hour or 6 amp hour. The 5 amp hour version is the DLM 460 PT2, and the 6 amp hour version, which is what this is, is the DLM 460 PG2. So I thought before I start the unboxing and first use, um, I'd tell you why uh, I purchased this particular model. Uh, well, we're replacing um, three um, existing tools. The strimmer um, has stopped working, and I might be able to fix it, but I'm not sure. And it's too powerful, really, for our needs in this garden. Um, the uh, hedge trimmer, you can see I've already chopped the end off the cable, and it's a bit too short for the um, deep hedges we've got in this garden. And the lawnmower is on its last legs, and we've got a new lawn that's just been laid, um, and so I thought it was time for a new lawnmower. <coughs> So I wanted something that was at least um, as wide a cut as the hater um, that I'm replacing, which is 43 centimetres. And um, I very much like the idea of um, cordless to avoid having either cords or petrol. Um, and um, I didn't want to invest in a self-propelled mower um, because you know, our garden is quite awkward and I probably wouldn't use that and it's not too the exercise. So um, I also um, looked at a whole range of um, possible mowers and I like the Makita products. I've got three of their products already, the batteries of which I can use in these tools. So I've now purchased the mower, the strimmer, which is the bottom of Makita's range, um, but will be perfectly adequate for our purposes here, and also a 75 centimetre hedge trimmer, uh, which is the DUH751, um, to replace the hedge trimmer. Um, there are already unboxing um, videos and videos about um, end user reviews of them already on YouTube, so um, I'm not going to bother with that. But I couldn't find any end user videos of um, this lawnmower. There are plenty by Makita themselves and some of the dealers, particularly in Australia, uh, but nothing by end users. So I thought um, I would uh, um, uh, fix that issue. Right, well, without any further ado, let's get to the unboxing. This is uh, real, I, we've not opened this package yet, it was delivered yesterday, um, so <coughs> here it goes. What I'm expecting to be in here is a lawnmower, uh, two batteries, and a charger. So, let's have a look. So, I'm guessing that's one of the batteries, that should be the 6 amp hour. So that's what I'm guessing it is, and there are two of those. A grass box, because we're going to be doing collecting. That's the twin charger. That red thing is the key. Yeah, that looks as though it's attached, so I'll be a bit careful with that. Lots of instructions. Your force of electric is it doesn't matter if you tip it up. But this is quite heavy. There we go. Right, these batteries, let me find my knife, 
should have a little star on them, which is the 18 volt range that can be swapped in all of Makita's 200 odd products, which I've already got two for a drill and a, an impact driver. So that little star there shows it's the interchangeable uh, battery for this system. Great, well I'll uh, carry on assembling this and then I'll shoot a uh, first use video. So we'll pause at that point and come back in a second when I've done that and charge the batteries up. Okay, we've uh, charged up the batteries. They both had one bar on them and now they've got four. And that took a little over an hour. Um, I didn't measure it precisely, but an hour and a quarter maybe. Um, I've also assembled it, which uh, all that involved was putting these four um, knobs on. Um, the height of the handle can be adjusted by putting this bolt through um, either the eye, or the hole above or below, so it can go up or down. Um, and the only thing you have to watch is that these two bolts are different to these two. Um, so we're going to start it up for the. I thought you'd be interested to see it side by side with the old one. Um, for what it's worth. Uh, so this is the first time it's ever been started. So we just raise the cover, take the batteries, come and look at this bit. And slot them in. This is the first time they've been done. That's the red key that goes in there. And then we turn it on by pressing that button, little green light. We can check the battery levels three out of, uh, on each side, and then to start it, press that button in. And off it goes. Okay, we're going to take it to the second lawn up there, and then do its first mow. Okay, so here we are on the second lawn, ready for our first mow. Button in. Oh, oh that didn't work. Here we go. Put the button in. Off we go. A couple of comments. Um, I had already strimmed around the edges I meant to mention with the uh, DUR181, uh, which is um, fine, but the um, uh, bump feed doesn't work all that well, um, to be honest. Um, other than that, it's great. Um, this mower is much lighter than the, uh, the petrol mower that it's replaced. It's much easier to manoeuvre and it's a great deal quieter too. Um, and um, I've got it on setting uh, six, which I think he's taking off just about um, the right amount. Um, so I'll carry on mowing this lawn and um, uh, the other two that we're able to mow at the moment and then let you know how the battery has fared. Okay, I've just finished mowing the third of the three lawns that I can mow at the moment. The fourth has just been laid, it's not ready to mow yet. 
Um, the clanking you heard um, when I set off doing the first one was pine cones, not stones. Um, and please don't look at the patches on this lawn because we're doing a bit of weed killing, uh, trying to get rid of some of the, the more invasive weeds that we've had on this um, patch of grass. Um, in my excitement on getting going with the first lawn, I failed to remove the mulching plug, which is why I thought perhaps it wasn't picking up very well. Having removed it, it picks up really well. And I thought I'd show you the inside of the grass box where you can see that the grass has been very evenly distributed across the base of the, um, of the grass box there. And I'm very pleased with that. I think that's gone um, really very well. So those three lawns um, are about 265 square metres I've measured. Um, the battery started off with three dots on the indicator on the handle. Uh, they're now down to two. So that, that means somewhere between 25 and 50 percent. So I reckon with the, our fourth lawn being 136 square metres, we can almost certainly mow all four lawns in one charge of those two six amp hour batteries. That's about 400 square metres. And whilst this is the second mow of the season, so I'm trying not to take off too much, um, I reckon that will probably do us um, throughout the season, uh, which is really very good. I'm very pleased with that. So overall, I'm, I'm very impressed with this machine. Um, it is much lighter than the petrol one. I used to have to haul the petrol one over the little various parts in our garden, but this one I can lift um, quite easily. Um, so mo maneuvering it around the garden is very straightforward. It's very easy to maneuver. I reckon I've done the la these lawns quicker than I would have done it with the petrol mower. And of course you can get going very quickly provided the batteries are already charged. The only niggle I've got really is this uh, the handle for the height adjustment. I think it sticks out too far that way and when I was doing the round the raised beds um, I tended to bump that handle which is a bit annoying. So I think they should have um, uh, reduced its depth a little. Uh, but apart from that it's been um, really good. Um, last thing to say is that um, I've, the other thing I did when, when I was charging the batteries was to register um, for the extended warranty, three year warranty on the Makita UK website. And that's also where you can claim uh, with this model, mm -hmm. which has the two um, six amp hour batteries, you can claim a free uh, pair of five amp hour batteries um, by putting your receipt and um, serial number and etc. on the device. Um, and I think that's a great offer from Makita. So I've applied for that. It, they'll come in 30 days apparently because they have to work out that you haven't returned the device before they send you the free batteries. Um, so I'll just give you a quick whip round um, the lawns that I've mown um, and then uh, that'll be it. So this is the grass of the third lawn I've just cut. This is the first lawn I cut. And this is the second lawn I cut. So I'm going to record a further video when we've had the mower for several weeks and I've been able to mow this lawn uh, several times as well to make sure that my thoughts on the battery life are correct. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been useful and um, I'm happy to answer any questions you put in the comments. Thanks very much.